Hi friends, welcome to my studio. Today I would like to share with you a picture book that's very special to me. It's called Over in the Ocean in a Coral Reef and it was written by Marianne Burkus and illustrated by me, Jeanette Canyon. I created all of my illustrations using a material called polymer clay. Polymer clay is a soft and moldable clay that you can use with your fingers or different kinds of interesting and surprising tools. It's a lot of fun to work with. Now, I love taking my time and experimenting with these different tools to see what kinds of textures and patterns they can help me create. For the swirly water that you see here, I actually used this tool. It's called the clay extruder. I put my clay inside here, and when you push on this plunger, watch what happens. <gasps> the clay comes oozing out, and I can make long coils of clay. And I just pinch them off, and then very carefully start to roll them into little spirals and I place them very carefully one at a time on my background and I created a different background for each of the scenes inside this book. Now can you see all of those little balls of clay? This might surprise you. I actually just used my fingertips and I rolled the clay right inside my fingertips to make little balls of clay. And then I scooched them into place until I was happy with how each of the swirly water backgrounds looked. I also love figuring out how I can put different colors of clay together to make beautiful and interesting patterns. All of these chunks of clay that you see are called canes of clay. And this technique is called cane work. Let me hold up a couple of these canes so you can see. Inside these canes, you can create patterns and it's all with polymer clay. Let me give you an ex another example. You can see here my mommy octopus. Notice it's suckers. All of these suckers you see I created from polymer clay. I started by making a very large cane with that pattern inside. And then very carefully, I started to roll it out and make it smaller and smaller. And I cut those pieces and placed each sucker on one at a time. And you can notice how they start out very big and they gradually get smaller and smaller. Once again, it does take a lot of time and patience, but I truly do love working and thinking in this way. Sometimes my tools are things that I save and collect, like this stretchy piece of plastic mesh. Let me share with you an example. In order to create the scales for my clownfish friends, I decided to use part of a mesh bag that used to hold tomatoes. I carefully pressed it into my clownfish, and when I lifted it off, ta-da! Scales! Do you recognize the pattern from the mesh bag? I made an impression in the clay to make all of the scales at one time. I never know what will help me with an idea or technique, so I think it's so important that I always keep my mind, my eyes, and my ears open to everything around me. I truly never know what will inspire me to look at, think about, or try something in a new or different way. One of the things I love about creating children's books is how much I get to learn about the world. And in order to create the illustrations for this book, I had the opportunity to learn about 10 different coral reef creatures, and I'd love to share them with you. Would you like to see the whole book? Great, let's get started. Over in the ocean, in a coral reef. Over in the ocean, far away from the sun, lived a mother octopus and her octopus one. Squirt, said the mother. I squirt, said the one. 
So they squirted in the reef far away from the sun. Over in the ocean where the sea grasses grew lived a mother parrotfish and her parrotfish too. Grind, said the mother. We grind, said the two. So they ground on the coral where the sea grasses grew. Over in the ocean, in a sea anemone, lived an old mother clownfish and her little clownfish three. Dart, said the mother. We dart, said the three. So they darted all around in a sea anemone. Over in the ocean, on a sandy sea floor, lived an old mother stingray and her little stingrays four. Stir, said the mother. We stir, said the four. So they stirred with their fins on a sandy sea floor. Over in the ocean, where the scuba divers dive, lived an old mother puffer and her puffer fish five. Puff, said the mother. We puff said the five. So they puffed in and out where the scuba divers dive. Over in the ocean, doing somersault tricks, lived an old mother dolphin and her little dolphin six. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the six. So they jumped and they played doing somersault tricks. Over in the ocean, in their sea fan heaven, lived a mother angel fish and her little angel seven. Graze, said the mother. We graze, said the seven. So they lazed and they grazed in their sea fan heaven. Over in the ocean, very streamlined and straight, lived a mother needlefish and her needlefish eight. Skitter, said the mother. We skitter, said the eight. So they skittered through the water, very streamlined and straight. Over in the ocean, drifting in a yellow line, lived an old mother gruntfish and her little grunts nine. Grunt, said the mother. We grunt, said the nine. So they grunted and they kissed, drifting in a yellow line. Over in the ocean, in their turtle grass den, lived an old father seahorse and his seahorses ten. Flutter, said the father. We flutter, said the ten. So they fluttered all around in their turtle grass den. Over in the ocean, in a coral reef. Thanks for joining me.